Millions of people wear contact lenses safely every day, but there is a risk of getting an eye infection from them without proper care. In this episode of OcuTalk, Dr. Elise Kramer will be discussing contact lens related eye infections, the dangers they present, and the healthy habits all contact wearers should adopt. Dr. Kramer? I want to talk to you. Not now, later. No, now. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for a brand new episode of OcuTalk. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for a brand new episode of OcuTalk. My name's Nick, and today we have a very special guest joining us, a returning guest to OcuTalk. Everyone, please welcome Dr. Elise Kramer. Dr. Kramer, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Well, again, thank you for joining us again on OcuTalk. We're, we're happy and excited to have you back here. Uh, so, Dr. Kramer, before we get into our conversation, I, I know you've been on the OcuTalk before, but I was hoping maybe you can introduce yourself uh, to our audience who wasn't able to see you the last time. So just let them know a little bit about your background and your specialty. Sure. So I am, I'm Dr. Elise Kramer. I am an optometrist in South Florida. I have two private practices, one in Miami and the other one in Weston, Florida. Um, I studied in Canada, but I did my residency here in South Florida. And I specialize in dry eye contact lenses and also myopia management. Oh, well, excellent, Dr. Kramer again. Welcome back to Hockey Talk. And so for our discussion today, Dr. Kramer, we were hoping that maybe you can talk to us a little bit about contact lens related uh, eye infections. What infections are associated with wearing contact lenses? So I would say the most common and maybe scary one is Pseudomonas, which is a bacteria that you can get. Um, and a lot more common in contact lens wearers than in those that don't wear contacts. Um, so that's kind of a scary one because it is um, it can get quite serious. Um, and I would say that most patients can probably avoid this type of infection um, risk by following hygiene protocols recommended by their eye care practitioner and of, of course avoiding to sleep um, with their lenses on so that makes a difference um, and then you have different infections that can also develop um, from just having ocular surface issues so dry eye or just blepharitis, anterior blepharitis can also cause some contacts related um, infections and irritations. Gotcha. Thank you, Dr. Kramer, for that information. And are, are there ways to avoid any of these infections? Like, are, are there preventative measures that can be taken? Yeah, for the first kind of microbial keratitis that you can develop um, is just a lot of the time it's related to overextending contact lens wear, sleeping with contact lenses. Um, of course, there's a lot scarier infections that can be related to tap water use or to contact with vegetative materials. So any of, avoiding any of those. So again, following your contact lens providers guidelines there. Um, and in terms of ocular surface related issues, Definitely cleaning um, the uh, lid hygiene is very important. Keeping the ocular surface uh, clean and the eyelids clean um, regularly is, is actually very important for contact lens success. Oh, well, excellent information, Dr. Kramer. And uh, so what are the symptoms that people should be on the lookout for to alert them like, hey, I, I have a problem with my, my contact lenses and, and how, how, how would I know that I might be developing an infection? That's a really good question. I would say pain, redness, um, discomfort, and uh, that's new, uh, or uh, just blurring of the vision, either intermittent or constant. Um, and then anything else that's just unusual um, and off, you know, don't hesitate uh, to go back to your eye care practitioner, but it could be one of those. It could be a combination of those, but ultimately anything like that would would could be indicative of a, a, a contact lens related infection. Well, fantastic, Dr. Kramer. And uh, 
how would someone know that it's actually just a contact lens related issue? Like what if it's, what, how, how would I determine if it's just contact lens lenses and not just some other infection that I have? You can, honestly, that's, that's our job. <laughs> so uh, just come in, if you suspect that there's something off, whether it's related to the contact lens or not, just come in and uh, go see your eye care practitioner and they'll be able to determine what the cause and, and appropriate treatment is. Gotcha. Excellent information, Dr. Kramer. And so obviously you probably hit on it a little bit before while we were speaking, but how important would you say it is to clean your contacts daily? Uh, very. I actually kind of lean a little bit more toward the daily disposable uh, contact lenses for that specific reason, because I just find it it's a lot better to use a clean, fresh lens every day on your eye than something that's been reused, even even with a really good solution. That being said, there are other great contact lenses out there that are monthly or biweekly. Um, it's very important to clean the lenses at night before going to sleep. Uh, it's important to not reuse um, the same solution from the day before, kind of like we don't reuse the same bath water, same concept. Um, but it, it's very important to clean our contact lenses. A lot of people compare it to underwear. We change our underwear every day. We got to change, you know, so it's, it's really important to clean things that we wear, especially when it's involving the ocular surface. I love the analogy, Dr. Kramer. Thank you for that. And um, so how important is good eyelid hygiene uh, for contact lens wearers? Um, I think it's very important. Um, it's something that uh, should be implemented um, at least twice a day. Uh, I think a lot of the soaps that we use or, or face washes that we use to clean our faces um, do not adequately eradicate the bacteria and debris that builds up in our eyelashes. And it's important to also clean those areas to avoid and prevent infection and uh, of course, treat active infection as well. well. Excellent information, Dr. Kramer. And so uh, if, when a patient comes in with an eye infection or a contact lens related eye infection, uh, how do you treat that, these infections? How, is there something that you recommend uh, for, for your patients in office? Well, if there is an infection, the contact lenses have to be discontinued temporarily. Um, I would recommend if it is bacterial, absolutely an antibiotic and the frequency and, and type would depend on the cause of infection. Um, as the patient starts to heal, it's logical to add a corticosteroid as well. And of course, if it's a viral infection, there's a completely different um, you know, uh, treatment. If uh, there is a, a cause that's related to eyelid hygiene, then that has to be implemented um, as well. So if there's some sort of contact lens related reaction to poor eyelid hygiene or blepharitis, then it's really important to uh, maintain good eyelid hygiene as well. Fantastic information, Dr. Kramer. And so uh, that would be in office uh, treatments that you would uh, recommend. What about any at home treatments that you would uh, we could try first that you would recommend? It, honestly, it's 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 pretty general. It would really depend on what type of infection we're dealing with. But the more patients are compliant with the recommendations given by their eye care practitioner around contact lens care, cleaning, uh, disinfecting, hygiene, and all of that is both preventative and also treating a current infection. So the compliance is really important. We can only do so much in the office. Actually, none of the things I recommended are done in the office. It's all at home. So... Well, gotcha. Well, again, thank you for that information, Dr. Kramer. And so let's say, for instance, I, I, I'm a terrible patient. And uh, so I, I get an infection in my eye and I say like, oh, you know, everything's fine. I'll just I'll, I'll work through it. So what can happen if someone ignores seeing their doctor for an, an eye infection like that? Well, the eye infection, if it's not treated, sometimes it can progress. Right. So a pseudomonas, which is the first bacteria I touched on, can actually perforate the cornea if it's not treated. So you can actually permanently lose vision. Um, so very, very important. And I don't see anyone not going to see their eye doctor for that because the symptoms are, are pretty 
you know, present. Um, in terms of other types of reaction, like toxic reaction or Claire or other contact lens related, kind of less serious reactions, um, I would say the problem will probably just not go away. If you don't go see your eye doctor, it can progress, it can get worse, but it, it mostly just will not go away. And people might not want to wear their contact lenses anymore just because it's going to be really uncomfortable and disturbing to wear them. Well, gotcha, Dr. Kramer. And it's always important to go see your doctor in case there's ever any infection. So th thank you for that, Dr. Kramer. And yeah. uh, so are there, I wanted to ask, are, are there any certain type of contact lenses that could help people from actually getting eye infections? Um, like I said, I really have shifted toward daily disposables because I, I find that having uh, something new and fresh every day is probably the best way to avoid any solution related uh, or even just contact lens overwear or infections that can build up in the contact lens case. Um, so I just think it's the cleanest and best way. So if someone asked me what's the best type of lens to avoid an infection, I would definitely say daily disposable. Um, like I said, in the monthly and, you know, extended wear, I would say just follow your eye care practitioner's guidelines and have a high alert for anything unusual. Well, perfect, Dr. Kramer. And uh, are, are there any new technologies or developments that we should be on the lookout for? In terms of contact lens um, technology or? or... Uh, yeah, just uh, in terms of contact lens or anything that you, you see on the horizon that we should be on the lookout for. I mean, I would love to have a contact lens that I, you know, didn't have to worry about patients getting infections, but it really is like the patient's involvement. Um, I'm excited about, you know, more people spreading awareness about potential infections, about there being campaigns, about loving your contact lenses and taking good care of them. And um, people really you know, getting on board with the whole ocular surface disease and dry eye because that's extremely prevalent. And I feel like contact lenses and, and dry eye really go hand in hand. And so it's um, it's something that needs to be addressed and, and, and awareness needs to be increased. Well, definitely, Dr. Kramer, thank you for that. And before we leave today, was there anything else that you'd like to let our audience know about? No, I mean, if you're feeling, like I said, if, if there's something off and it's it's either a change in your vision, something's uncomfortable, your eye's red, definitely go see your eye care practitioner. That's what we're here for. And maybe ask your eye care practitioner about switching to daily disposables and definitely look into, you know, how you can improve your eyelid hygiene at home. All of it's related and Honestly, if you could take good care of your eyelids and your eye and everything you can do, it's going to just improve your success with contact lenses. And that's the whole point. So, well, e excellent advice, Dr. Kramer. Again, everyone, that was Dr. Elise Kramer. Dr. Kramer, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks so much.